All right, so now we're going to look at how to combine two or more functions together to produce new functions. So here we're going to assume that f and g are two functions, and we can create a new function, which is known as the sum of f and g. So f plus g, this is the symbol to denote the sum of the two functions. How is it defined? Well, its value, when we plug x into it, is just the function value of f plus the corresponding function value of g added together. What's the domain of this new function? Well, it would be all things that make sense to plug into both f and g. So it, the domain is the intersection of the domain of f and the domain of g. The difference is defined in the same way. The difference of the two functions f and g is just defined to be the difference of the two function values at the corresponding input x. Again, the domain is the intersection of f and g. Anything that made sense to plug into f and makes sense to plug into g, we can plug into the difference. The product is just defined to be the product of the corresponding outputs. So the product of f and g at x is the value of f multiplied by the corresponding value of g. When we define the quotient of two functions, we just have to be careful. This is the only case we really need to be careful in, and that is f divided by g evaluated at x is f of x divided by g of x. So this only works when x is such that g is not 0, because I don't want to divide by 0. So our domain is going to be the domain of f and the domain of g intersected with each other, but remove everything for where g is 0, because we don't want to consider those. It doesn't make sense to divide by 0. So let's go ahead and look at a brief example. Suppose we know a few things about f. f at negative 1 is 1, f at 2 is 3, g at negative 1 is negative 5, and g at 2 is 17. Let's find the corresponding values of these functions. So what's f plus g at negative 1? Well, that's f of negative 1 plus g of negative 1 by the definition of what the sum of the two functions are. f of negative 1 is 1, g of negative 1 is negative 5, so the result is negative 4. What's f times g of negative 1? Well, that would be f at negative 1 times g of negative 1, or 1 times negative 5, or negative 5 is the result. And what about f divided by g of 2? Well, that would be f of 2 divided by g of 2. Hopefully, 2 is not a value for which g is 0 on. We look at it. Nope, g of 2 is 17. Okay, so f of 2 is 3, and g of 2 is 17. And so the result is 3 17ths.